Three Point Shot, Chapter 18. Looks like you bastards are two for two! The one who killed Korikyo Shiguchi-kun was none other than Tenko Chabashira-san! Yet again, Monokuma's announcement felt more like a taunt than a form of congratulation. The revelation of Tenko's actions made the student's blood run cold. And Tenko herself was keeping up her face of resigned acceptance. We did it, Kaede thought. We found the truth. But this truth, it's even worse than the last one. Tenko? Himiko said, her voice quaking with disbelief. Why? Why would you... You... You wouldn't... Tenko cast her gaze downward again. You Meno-san, I'm sorry. I never meant to cause you so much pain. Her? Miu shouted. What about us, you freaking psycho? Shabashira-san, Kaede said, finding a foothold to enter the conversation. I just don't get why. Why did you kill him? It... It wasn't my intention. Not at first. The Aikido practitioner explained, her voice full of fatigue. What you mean, at first? Gonta questioned. When Tenko discovered she had gotten the wrong video, she left Shinguchi-san a note asking him to meet her in private. She began. At first, it was just going to be an exchange of the videos, but... Then I watched his a second time just to be clear. But even if you were worried he'd kill to go see his sister again, Kaito chimed in. Tenko's eyes became laser focused as she took a stronger tone of voice. That wasn't what he meant. Huh? The astronaut replied, his confusion clear. Tenko confronted him about it when we met, and... That's when I found out... Earlier that day... The two stood nearby the edge of the pool, both tense, but neither was aware of what was soon to transpire. Korikio carried a cub pad, clutched in his bandaged fist. Tanko, by contrast, had a gym bag flung over her shoulder. Did you bring the video? Korikio inquired. Yes, it's in the bag, Tenko replied. Slowly, she laid down the bag, opening it to reveal the player contained within. The anthropologist nodded. Ah, very good then. I don't suppose you're curious about what I saw. Tenko doesn't care what her video says, but... Hmm... Tenko saw your video, and... Did I say something to offend you? Korikio wondered. Not offend, but your sister, Tenko clarified. What did you mean by not leaving her alone? Korikio's eyes widened in a brief moment of panic, though he quickly resumed control. He set the video down beside him and proceeded to speak. I suppose that would catch most people's attention. Is she sick? Tenko asked. She was for a very long time, Korikio answered dejectedly. Wait, are you saying... Yes. I'm afraid my beloved sister is no longer with us, Korikio informed. Tenko softened her paranoia in response to this information. Tenko is very sorry for your loss. How long? It doesn't really matter, does it? Korikio countered. It's always too soon. But wait, Tenko started. In what way would you be leaving her alone, if she's already... Well, she's not truly gone, Korikio replied, his voice growing sinister. What? 
Wouldn't you agree, dear sister? Much to Tenko's shock, Korakio lowered the mask he kept over his mouth. His lower jaw revealed him to be clean-shaven with smooth, flawless skin. But more striking were his lips, which were a bright ruby red. Is that lipstick? Tenko questioned. Rather than answer, Korakio simply began to speak to himself. His voice was suddenly pitched up a few octaves, as though he were putting on an affectation. Korakio, my sweet, sweet brother, you don't have to worry about leaving me. You're always with me, just like I'm always with you. What? What is this? Tenko exclaimed. Korakio fixed his mask and returned to his normal form of speech. Sister, you always know how to comfort me. Tenko is very lost right now! My sister's spirit lives on through me, Korakio explained, a wicked gleam in his eye. But even so, that's not enough. I know that when she is not with me, she suffers in the afterlife. So, so what does... But I can't allow that. Not with how much she meant to me. Not with how much I loved her. How I loved her. I loved her so. By loved, you don't mean... Oh yes, the madman ranted. But I can care for her. I can give her company. Say... What? Korakio revealed the knife he kept hidden. Would you be friends with my sister? The psychotic boy lunged for Tenko, brandishing his weapon, but he had failed to account for something rather important. The girl he was attacking was a black belt in a form of martial arts predicated almost entirely on responding to an opponent's assault. As such, it shouldn't have been surprising that Tenko was able to grab him by the arm and fling him carelessly over her shoulder into a stack of life preservers. Yeah! He cried in pain. Tenko, adrenaline pumping through her, took a fighting posture. You! You are a true degenerate male! The worst of the worst! Your words don't matter to me. He grunted, his left hand suddenly clasped to his now broken right arm. I know that my pursuits are noble. I carry humanity's beauty in my heart. That is not beauty! Tenko spat. You couldn't be further from it! You're not even human if that's how you view the world! Even so, what will you do now? Korakio inquired. Restrain me? Lock me up? Who would believe your story? I... I... More than that, do you really think I'll stop? No. No. No, 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 no! I refuse to let my sister die alone! Tenko! Tenko won't let you! You can't stop me forever. I will bring my sister the companions she desires. And there are just so many girls here she would love to meet. Don't you... Don't you dare! Tenko demanded. Do you suppose Yumeno-san would care to meet her?